Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and today I'm here with another wig video, but this is actually the same wig as my last wig video. In case you guys don't know, in case you haven't seen any of my other wig videos or you're new to my channel, I am doing a collaboration with RPG Show Wigs. RPGshow.com is my favorite place for wigs. I have had so many wigs from them in the past. I've done so many reviews for them. So now I'm doing a collab with them where I am designing the wigs for you guys to purchase. And this is my latest design. This is the Raven Elise 002 wig. And I designed this wig to be a dark chocolate brown color and to be very long and very glamorous and very luxurious but also very versatile. I wanted this wig to be something that can be worn by all types of people who are into all types of hairstyles, whether you like curly, straight, wavy, spiral curls, loose curls, big waves, loose waves, whatever kind of hair you're going for. I wanted to give you a lot of hair to play with on this wig and give you a lot of different options with this wig so that you are really getting your money's worth and you can wear this wig time and time again, but still get different looks out of it. So the way that I designed this wig, when you first receive it, as you will see in the first video that I did about this wig, which I will link down below, when you first receive it, you will receive it in spiral curls. These curls are added in by RPG Show, and I asked them to do very, you know, bouncy spiral curls just to give you a fun look. I thought it would be really cute for the holidays when I first released this wig, and just really cute in general. I think it's something different to kind of switch it up and do some big bouncy spiral curls. So that's how you will get it when you first receive it. Then when you decide to wash the wig, which honestly those curls are going to hold in that hair for basically forever for as long as you want them to hold. You can also brush them out. Actually, you can brush them out. You can brush out the curls. You can get a very big, fluffy, bouncy look. I mean, that that's a look. That's a look in itself. So you're already at two looks right now. You're at the, the original spiral curl look that it came with. Then you can do the brushed out spiral curls. And then you can go in and wash the wig. It's always a good idea to wash your human hair wigs periodically anyway. That's just how you take good care of them. So when you get ready to wash your wig, let's say two weeks in, you will see that this wig actually has a naturally curly texture to it. When you wet the hair, the hair is curly. It has a really nice beachy loose curl to it and it kind of gives you that mermaid look, just a very beachy effortless look when you wet the hair. So you can obviously wear the hair like that. Put some styling gel in it if you want it to be more defined. Let it just completely air dry with no product if you want a more beachy look and it just gives you a totally different look. You can do side part, middle part, tie part of it up, do a bun with it, whatever you want to do. Rock the natural curls of the wig and get that look and then the look that I'm bringing you guys today right now is the straightened look. So this is real quality human hair. You can do anything to this hair that you would do to your natural hair pretty much. You can straighten it, curl it. You can even dye it or bleach it if you want to, but I mean, it already comes in this pretty chocolate color, so you probably don't need to dye it, but you can definitely straighten it. So after you're done wearing it in its naturally curly beachy look, you can go in and straighten it and get a another look. So what, that's probably look number four or five at this point that you're getting out of this wig. Not to mention all the different partings and actual hairstyles that you can do with it in terms of buns and ponytails and stuff. So yeah, this is what the wig looks like when you straighten it. So I kind of went for this Kim Kardashian inspired look, Cher inspired look with a very sleek, very flat middle part and very bone straight hair. So I just did that just so I could show you guys exactly how straight you can get this hair and how it still looks very silky and shiny and has a lot of movement to it even after you straighten it bone straight. I'm very impressed with the quality of this hair, with how versatile it is, how you can go from curly to straight to whatever and it just bounces back and forth so easily and it maintains the quality and it maintains the shine and it really is just a very high quality wig. From here, I can definitely take my curling iron and put some loose waves back into this hair to get kind of that 
glamorous, you know, glam, wavy look. So there's just so much you can do with this hair, taking it from spiral curls to loose curls to blow dry to straight to putting curls in it with the curling iron, putting waves in it with the curling iron. It's just, it's just so much you can do. The list goes on and on. And that's really how I designed this wig to be. That's also why I designed it to be nice and long and thick so that you can have a lot of fun hair to play with, get some really glam looks out of it. I really wanted this wig in particular to be extremely wearable, extremely versatile, to really get your money's worth out of this wig and be something that like anybody can pull off. Anybody can rock this wig. I think this color looks good on like any skin tone. It's just, it's just for everybody. This is the everybody wig. This is the, this is the, what should we call this wig? I mean, it's technically called the Ramily 002 spiral curl wig, I think, but I feel like it needs another name. I feel like it needs like more of a real name. This is I'm every woman <laughs> wig. Cause I know sometimes when you guys look at lace wigs, human hair lace wigs, you're like, man, that those things are expensive. That's a lot of money. That's like a serious investment. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure if it's even gonna look good on me. I'm a little nervous to go into the wig game, but trust me y'all, when y'all go into the wig game, when you finally step over to the wig side, you will never go back. It's either, right now for me, it's either my natural hair or a wig. I do not do sew-ins. I rarely do clip-ins. I tend to just go for a lace wig because they are so easy once you get the hang of it. They are so convenient once you get the hang of it and they last forever, literally forever. I have, I don't think I've ever had to throw away one of my wigs ever and I've been doing these wigs for years. So it's not like bundles where you order three bundles and a closure, you get your sew-in done, you have to pay for the person to do your sew-in, you spend hundreds of dollars on the bundles themselves, you might wear those bundles for a few months and you have to take your sew-in out because it starts growing out and getting old and crusty. So you gotta take your sew-in out, you might be able to reuse those same bundles and get them sewn back in but you're probably gonna only be able to reuse them maybe once if that and you're gonna be buying new bundles. So if you are the type of person to get sew-ins, you're spending that money anyway. You're kind of wasting that hair because you're not able to keep that hair for a very long time. It's definitely not gonna last you for years like these wigs are. These wigs last you for much longer because they are made of high quality human hair, but not only that, you're not putting so much wear and tear on the wigs because typically when you wear a wig, you're not wearing it in the shower, to the gym, morning and night, sleeping on it every night, you know, putting so much extra wear and tear on it, you're able to take it off and let your natural hair breathe, which is always good to help your natural hair flourish underneath. And you're able to take it off, put it on your wig stand, keep it in your bathroom, keep it in your closet, give it a break, and then come back to it later. You're able to take it off and thoroughly wash it and condition it and just really take care of it put it on your wig stand. So you're just able to take much better care of these wigs and give them breaks to where it will end up lasting you for literally years. And you can always go back to it and put it back on. And also, I used to be that girl who made my own wigs and there is nothing wrong with buying bundles and making your own wigs. I totally did that. But I like the idea of just letting the professionals do it. I can order a lace wig, I can get everything I need all done, sent to me in a box, it's a lot easier, and they're made in a professional way, obviously. This wig has two combs right here and a comb in the back to secure it onto your head. It also has an adjustable elastic band going around the nape of the neck that you can tighten or loosen to adjust it to your head or however tight you want it to be for that specific hairstyle. Like today, I tightened mine really, really tight because I wanted my wig to lay really, really flat. And it's made with that lace mesh material to give you that natural parting and that natural hairline all around the front. And this wig does have tracks going in the back, which is how they're able to put so much hair on this wig and make it a lot thicker than other wigs, but they're not the same as when you buy bundles. It's not the same type of track. These tracks, the wefts are very 
thin and flat so it doesn't give you that bulky look all throughout the back of the wig. Sometimes when you make your own wig with bundles, the wefts start to bulk up. When you're trying to put more and more hair onto the wig cap, it just starts getting bulky when you're making it yourself and you're using glue or you're using um, that thick weaving thread, it just starts getting bulky. But when they're professionally made like this, it's very just sleek. It's a lot sleeker in my opinion. So. That's just a few reasons that I can share with you guys for anybody who is interested in, you know, stepping over to the wig side. I know it can be a little bit scary. You feel like there's so much to learn. There's so much to know. What kind of wig should I get? Is it going to look good? How's it going to be? There's a lot of questions and that's totally understandable. I get questions every day. You guys are asking me questions every day about wigs because you want to try them but you're a little bit nervous so I just kind of wanted to include that in this video just to kind of answer some of your questions and put your mind at ease trust me you're gonna like it girl you're gonna love it like I said once you cross over to the wigs that you never go back but yeah I do have several videos all about all of these topics I have a video all about why I think wigs are better than sew-ins I have a video all about how to make the hairline of a lace wig look natural I have a couple videos about that actually I have a video on how I prep my hair underneath for a wig, I have a bunch of videos on all of these topics. If you are a beginner, if you are new to the wig game and you just kind of want to soak it all in before you order your wig, I will definitely link everything down below for you guys to check it out. But I just have to say that out of all the wig reviews I've done, out of all the wigs I've ever worn, this wig in particular is definitely, if not my favorite, one of my top five favorites because it is just so, it is just, it's just glam. I love how long it is. This wig literally goes down to like my belly button is right here. It basically goes down to my belly button. It's thick. It's not thin. It just gives you that glamorous, luxurious look. It's able to lay flat, but it's also able to have a lot of volume. It's able to be curly. It's able to be straight. It's just it's just everything that you would want in a wig and you can get so much out of it. Not to mention if you keep this wig for a long time, and you wear it for a long time and you want to get bold you can cut it you can end up cutting it short and wear it in the like there's so much you can end up doing with this wig over the whole entire lifetime of this wig there's just so much you can do and that's what I really feel like makes you smart for investing because it is an investment I, I'm not even gonna try and play y'all and be like oh you know just just buy it real quick it's not a big deal because I know it's an investment I totally understand that it is an investment, but it's a good investment in my opinion if you like to have your hair on fleek, you know what I mean? That's why I designed this wig like this, that's why I'm really excited about this wig, that's why I'm just raving about this wig because I really feel like it's it's the answer right now. So hopefully you guys like it. I know some people weren't really feeling it at first in the first video that I made with the original spiral curls. I know not everybody is into the big bouncy spiral curls but just remember that's just how the wig comes there's so many different textures that you can get out of the wig if you just want to go ahead and wash it right away when you get it it's up to you yeah it's just up to you but I think that this wig really works for a lot of different type of people so now I'm rambling and repeating myself so I think that's all I really have to say about it for now I just definitely wanted to make this update video for you guys show you guys what it looks like straight Tell you guys a little bit more about it. Tell you guys a little bit more about wig life in general. So hopefully this video helped you if you were interested in the wig life. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any other comments, definitely leave them down below. I'll try to answer as many of them as possible. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I feel pretty weird right now. I feel just like I'm in character. Like, I'm not even raving right now. I'm like, I don't know, somebody else. <laughs>